Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome to my full Easter egg tutorial for the brand new map, Ancient Evil in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now, before we get into the actual steps for this Easter egg, there are a few prerequisites that you need to do. You need to know how to build all of the redeemed hands. Now, I have a guide for that. If you want to check it out, it'll be down in the description. I also have guides for building the shield, the Pegasus strikes, and opening up pack a bunch. You're going to need to know all of those things. So they're all down in the description. If you have any questions about those, you can comment it down below and I'll try to respond to you guys. But all of the guides that you're going to need for this Easter egg are all down in the description. I'm not including it in this actual Easter egg guide because I've already made videos covering those. So the first step of the Easter egg is opening pack a punch. And then once you do that, you're going to have to complete epic rewards. Now, the way to get rewards is you go and pay basically pay respects to Apollo. And there's a bowl right in front of the Oracle. Now you're going to get challenges and you have to keep completing those challenges to the best of your ability until it says you have earned an epic reward. Now eventually, once everyone on your team has gotten enough epic rewards, the fire pit inside of the starting room is going to turn blue and you're going to need to bash it with your shield so that you have fire on the actual spear of your shield. So once you do that, there's three oil spills around the map that you have to melee. The first one is here in the intersection of treasuries. The second one we're going to go to is going to be all the way over here. And this one is at the Spartan Monument area. And it's right there on the bricks. And then the last and final one is going to be located way over here through the Temple Terrace to the upper road. And it's actually going to be on one of the rocks. So once you melee all of these, your screen should shake and you've completed the first main step of this Easter egg. This is probably the easiest step out of all of it and the challenges do take a little while. Now the next thing you need to do is get the redeemed hand of Quran and you're going to end up bringing this all the way over to the Spartan Monument area. Now what you're going to do is shoot this thing at the ground and you're going to find a statue that has blue eyes and you need to shoot it. So as you can see here, I'm looking for the blue eyes and I eventually see it and I shoot it and it breaks. Now you're gonna have to break a total of three of these statues in order to complete this step and they do switch and also you can run out of the blood effect that you're shooting at the ground so just shoot that at the ground and if you're playing in a co-op game try to have someone cover you it makes it a lot easier in order to do this step so as you can see there i broke the second one and now i'm looking for the third and final one boom there it is and my screen will shake so i know that i've completed that step of the easter egg so once again for this next step you're going to need a shield so make sure that you buy one and there's going to be gear areas and you'll see a light that's like protruding through a brick and what you need to do is shoot it with a pack punch weapon and then you're going to get your shield and you're going to throw the spear at the gear when it's right next to each other and this one is kind of hard to see so when i get to the easier ones to see you guys will understand exactly what i'm talking about but basically there's a small gear and a large gear and you have to align them so that the small one is right on the big one so the next location is here in the intersection of treasuries this one is a little bit hard to see so you want to back up so that you can see the small gear going up and down and once again you have to match it perfectly Perfectly. And the last and final one is going to be over here, which is in the Spartan Monuments area. This one makes a lot of sense. So as you can see, I'm going to shoot it with a pack of much gun. And then you see the small gear going across. This is what you're doing for all of these. So uh, once again, just line it up, throw your spear so it lines up and that the gears are moving. Now, once you do this step, there is going to be a main like gear that's in the Stoa of Athenians. Now, what you need to do is throw this one in there and it's a little bit wonky it doesn't always work the hitbox is a little weird for this one so you just have to make sure you line it up and just keep throwing them until you get it to be honest this one definitely does take a long time sometimes it takes me like 10 spears to get it sometimes it takes two you know it's always kind of a random thing but just make sure that you just keep throwing him in that area until the screen shakes so you know you've completed it now a lot of people say that you have to line up the other three uh, statues so that they're actually all facing that area and then it will work 
So that is also a thing I've heard. But for some reason, when you're throwing the spear that far, it doesn't always go exactly where you're pointing it. So it is a little weird and wonky. So make sure that you guys try your best to get that. And you know you've completed it when the screen shakes. All right, guys, so now we're going to be doing another step, and you're going to need the Hand of Gaia for this one. Now, this can be the Redeemed version, or you can just do the Fallen Hand of Gaia. It doesn't actually matter, but if you are playing in a four-player game, you're going to need to get the Redeemed version, which is the upgrade version of this. So what you're going to be doing is essentially shooting targets. Now, as you can see, I failed this one, so no more targets spawn, but the first target is going to be on the left-hand side, and you're going to shoot it, and then as soon as this one leaves... As soon as you shoot and it disappears, there's going to be one that spawns on the left of the Danu perk machine, and then there's going to be more that spawn, and I like shooting the one up top because it's in the middle, but there's multiple targets for each one. You just can't see all of them very easily. Now, once you get this correctly, a Gaganese six-armed boss is going to spawn, and what you're going to be doing is bringing him to the intersection of treasuries. Now, what this is going to do and what your main purpose for bringing this boss over there is, is you you want him to actually do the shield attack where he basically stuns the player uh, just like in blackout and there's an onk that is inside of the crystal and what you're going to do essentially is get him to knock out that onk so that you can grab it and place it on the raw machine so as you can see we're officially trying to get him to use his shield attack the best way to do it is by shooting his weak spot and eventually you'll see some like orbs come out that are red and usually he ends up using the shield attack then you can also shoot his shield and sometimes he will do the shield attack as well now once you get the onk you're all set but now you need to kill him as well to get the golden spear that he does hold and it's the same one that he throws at you and it's just going to be standing up so you can grab it and now we're going to make our way over to the sundial area because we're going to be doing a sundial step so this step definitely seems more complicated than it is this one is definitely very very easy if you understand how it works so as you can see we're going to be going over here to the offering of adelids and this one is going to be a number based game as you can see there's smoke coming up right there of a yellow line over those three gold like pillars i guess you could say or symbols now what you're going to be doing is killing an electric zombie on this and then depending on which way the symbols are turning you need to count how many gold things it goes under to get to that line so you guys will see in a second now once again you do have to kill an electric zombie which is probably the most annoying part of this entire step because they will keep spawning until you finish this step so uh, you will get normal zombies as well, but the electric zombies are going to spawn as soon as you kill the Gaganese, which is actually pretty nice, to be honest. So once again, we're going to get the electric zombie to come right on this gold plate, and you have to kill him on the gold. And as you can see, we got symbols. Now there's going to be a blue symbol, and then you count how many times it takes for the blue symbol to go to the line, depending on which way it is turning. So we have start at zero, one, two, three three and then the line which is four so that means we're going to be counting to four after the blue symbol shows up and we're going to press square in the middle on the stick so once again this one is going to be four so one two three four and then press it so that's how it works guys it's pretty simple but you're going to have to repeat this so one two three four and it's going to be the 69 uh logo i guess you could say so one two three four and press it and you, the screen's going to shake if you've done it correctly and the symbol will stay there now what you have to do again is kill an electric zombie that is going to be going over this exact gold plate once again and this time you're going to have a different combination because the uh, thing is going to spin a different direction so this one is end going to end up being three instead uh which is a lot easier so you can count it so as you can see blue one 
two, three, press square, boom, the screen's going to shake. I did it correctly to line up with that line of smoke. So now that is the second one. And then last but not least, you have to kill another electric zombie on the gold plate area or the sundial. And as you can see, we're going to kill him. And then once again, we're going to get the exact same thing to happen. This one is going in a different direction. And this one was three as well just like the other one. So it's really, really simple to explain. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter and I can try to explain it in text form a little bit better. So one, two, three, and then you can press it. Uh, it's pretty simple, guys. Uh, so one, two, three, press it, boom, we got it and we ended up getting it correctly. So the screen will shake and you're done. The sundial is gonna sink into the ground and you don't need to worry about it anymore. But once you do this step, then you're going to need to do the raw step, which is probably one of the hardest things. You're going to place the onk in the raw hand, and then you're going to be getting the redeemed hand of Hamera, and you're going to have to place it in the other hand of Ra. My teammate ended up getting that one. So once you do this, he's going to start a beam, and it's going to be shooting into a wall. Now, what you need to do is basically kill all of these skeleton guys because they are going to use their shield to stop the shot from the laser beam and effectively make it so you are not able to open up the wall now you will get blight fathers which can be really really annoying but the main thing you want to do is kill all of the skeleton guys because they are going to be the guys that stop the laser beam on either side it can be directly in front of the perk machine or it can be right in front of the wall on the other side so if you're playing in a co-op game definitely have people cover different windows i also place down the pegasus uh strike as well which is going to kill a lot of the zombies that are going to be running in which definitely helps a ton but just make sure you're covering the windows and all the different doorways because the skeleton guys will spawn like crazy and run in from each of those different directions so it can be a little bit hectic this step lasts for about two minutes or so so it's it's kind of long but uh eventually you will see it open and you can grab the small scepter that is there and then what you're going to do is actually place that scepter in ra's hand and then you're going to be done this step effectively this is probably the most annoying step out of this entire easter egg because it does take a long time to actually do it and once you're done though you have like really easy steps from then on until the boss fight which is actually pretty nice so once you get through this step you're on to the easy easy stuff so let's get into the next step all right guys this in my opinion is the best step in black ops 4 zombies for any easter egg it's so fun so how this works is you're going to be corresponding your hand with the color that shows up on the screen so for example out there i didn't run out because i didn't have a green symbol out there now i'm going to get a green symbol and i need to run to it now once you stand on your correct color you are free to move around and you're going to be doing different attacks so for example i got green ones on the actual stage on the floor so i need to use my charge attack to kill all of these zombies and i need to make sure i kill all the green ones so you want to line up properly now the next one is going to be up in the stands so i'm just going to use a normal shooting attack to kill all of my zombies now you're going to be repeating this process and all the players are going to need the redeemed version of their hands and continue doing this if you're playing with one player you only need one of them so you can choose which one you're going to use now if you're playing with four players each person is going to have a redeemed version of each of the different ones and just make sure that you do it correctly Correctly every time so once again the ones on the floor you have to use the charge attack and the ones in the stands you just use the shooting attack and also there will be some times where your symbol does not show up on the floor so you need to go back in the room and stand on that symbol and this will happen when your screen turns black and white I don't have an example right now but we just completed it because the screen turned white now if you mess up your screen will turn white as well and you have three chances per round to do this correctly if you mess up so now we're gonna make Make our way uh, right near the river of sorrow area in the underworld portion of the map uh, where Pegasus brings you and we're gonna be shooting Poseidon symbols that are located in the back 
Now, as you can see, that one is the first symbol and I ended up shooting the wrong symbol next. And my friend was shooting as well. So he kind of messed it up. So it's the I4, then the circle with the line. Then the next one after that is going to be the turned over six. Now, the next one after the turned over six is going to be a, another circle that is kind of down one and to the left one as well. So it takes me a while to actually see where that one was for some reason. I think my screen is like darker for some reason when I play so it's kind of weird the next one is three dots and then the next one is an upside down triangle now once you shoot this correctly you're going to get a cutscene. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys in case you didn't want any spoilers so don't worry about that I don't show anything really important so now we're going to be going on to the next step and what you have to do is get a pegasus strike that you already built and you have to place it down on this symbol now what this is going to do is cause pegasus to bring up a ballista which is essentially a big crossbow that you're going to be shooting at the woman that is right above the pack a bunch machine so as you can see we pulled it up but before you can actually go and shoot this thing you have to do a couple quick things first before that so what you're going to do is grab the hand of oranos which is the blue hand which is located right in front of the pack punch machine and then what you're going to do is make your way back up to the ballista and you're going to shoot it from the left hand side facing the opposite direction so you're going to play like face the back wall and you're going to use the charge attack on the ballista until it keeps moving and then eventually will stop moving and it will cock back the bullet so that it's actually going to be ready to get shot so as you can see i just did that and now we're going to be going on to the next step which is essentially the last step before the boss fight so what you need to do is get a shield and once again you have to go back to the fire pit that we started with in the temple of Apollo and you need to make sure that there's flames actually on the spear part of your shield so once you do this you do not want to change weapons because it will remove remove the flame completely and it will go out so you need to make sure that it's like still burning with flames and you go over through the cliff ruins area and you're gonna end up running through the venom trap that is located right next to the center of the world inside of the python pass and you're going to get the green fire ability or effect on your shield spear and you're just going to be running all the way back up to the back of the ballista and you're actually going to use a melee attack with this green effect and what it's essentially going to do is shoot the ballista right at the woman behind pack-a-punch it's pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory so boom as you can see it's going to end up shooting and go right in her face basically or the top of her head and then she's going to have like a green gas coming off of her hair which looks really really weird in game but overall i really think this is like such a unique easter egg and it's really really cool like i love the effects of this easter egg all the steps are really fun to do and they're actually kind of challenging at certain points and some of them are just plain fun and really enjoyable so now it is time for the boss fight so what you want to do is go back to the center of the world where pack a bunch is and behind it you're going to see a uh, yellow portal where the egg used to be that was behind pack a bunch and you're going to use this portal to actually go into the boss fight now you're going to see the boss right in front of you as soon as you get there and he is called the zombie warlord now what he's going to do is actually turn the pegasus and make him an evil pegasus and you're going to have to kill him but before you do that there are going to be gaganese that spawn on each platform of the boss area now you can use the flingers to get across to the other platforms in this boss fight arena so there's going to be a gaganese that spawns on each of them just make sure that you kill him on each of the three platforms and then eventually pegasus will start flying around now pegasus can be a little bit annoying or the evil pegasus because he's going to leave a trail of electricity and fire and if you step in it you can get hurt really really badly and very easily which can be a little bit annoying and not only that but you have the warlord actually throwing some fireballs at you as well which can be a ton of damage and it can be very very annoying so what you want to do is have one of your redeemed hands out and you're going to shoot pegasus when he flies by every single time and eventually pegasus is actually going to 
fall over and land on one of the platforms and he's going to be glowing black and orange so as you can see we're going to spam the hell out of pegasus and he's going to keep flying around but eventually we're going to deal enough damage so that he will actually fall over and land on the platform as you can see he landed over on this one so what you have to do then when he lands is switch to your specialist and hit him as much as you can the hammer and the shock rooms are by far the best for this so i was using a staff to revive my friends but it turns out it's not the best method and then as soon as you end up killing him he's going to have an electricity and fire attack all over the entire platform so you need to get off really really fast and as you can see he actually ended up destroying that woods island all the way in the back so now we're going to be doing the exact same thing once again knock him down using the hand attacks as he's flying and he'll land use your specialist and melee him as much as you possibly can and then eventually he's going to end up destroying this platform as well which is definitely one of those things that you need to get off as fast as possible and be really really careful because you're going to take a lot of damage when you're doing this easter egg and eventually the zombie warlord is going to take all the power from pegasus and actually throw him just off the map and then he's also going to shoot kind of like a nuke explosion at the other platform as you can see it's falling down right now and it's actually going to blow up that entire platform so now you're stuck on the last and final platform which is kind of like the coliseum platform and now the zombie warlord is going to actually teleport over to this one occasionally and what you need to do is once again use the specialist to melee him as much as you possibly can and he is going to get hurt as soon as you land on him but once again you need to use the specialist in order to actually damage him so when he gets on the platform you can shoot him with the hand you can shoot him with a regular weapon if you want it doesn't really matter but once again you do have to use the specialist itself when he actually gets on the platform now i was just throwing equipment and stuff for the lulls it doesn't actually do anything it's only equipment then eventually he will say no this cannot be i am the son of zeus and you end up killing him which is absolutely fantastic and it's a lot of fun and then last but not least you're gonna end up grabbing the oracle key and you are done the easter egg so i'm not gonna play the cutscene because i don't want to spoil it for you guys but thank you so much for watching my full easter egg tutorial for ancient evil if it did help you out make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new and if you guys do end up subscribing let me know down below in the comment section so I can reply saying thanks. My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.